సార్ సుబ్బారెడ్డి గారు గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సార్ వెరీ 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 హ్యాపీ మార్నింగ్ సార్ 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 గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సార్ ధనంజయ్ సార్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సార్ శ్రీనివాస రెడ్డి కట్ట గారు గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సార్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సార్ ఐడియా బైట్స్ దాంట్లో అదే అమ్మకం వేస్తారు అంటున్నాను వేస్తారు సార్ నసీం అల్లి గారు గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ హలో నసీం అల్లి గారు గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఫార్మర్ సిఇఓ ఆయిల్ పంప్ ప్లాంటేషన్స్
uh, audio audio thank you sir good morning good morning sir am i audible to you sir yeah yeah sir yes sir nasim yeah thank you sir 5 minutes sir people are joining people yet to join join in joining sir within 2 3 minutes we will start right yeah. sir register karo sir good morning ah good morning good morning dhananjay raghav Yes, and good morning to all the participants i am dr srinivasu registrar dr vaisar articulture university i welcome you all to this uh, uh, meeting uh, convened by director uh, international programs dr dhananjay ravaru once again good morning to all of you and welcome to you all thank you, thank you sir thank you good morning thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. in 2 minutes we will start sir yes 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 please Uh, sir we will start uh, so welcome to dr vyasar horticulture university good morning all of you uh, dr vyasar horticulture university interaction meeting with the private industries and firms to generate csr funds for strengthening of its uh, infrastructure so the main uh, uh, topic is uh, Uh, Dr. Vyasar Hichu to exchange of thoughts, ideas, and to develop MOUs for bringing out feasible interventions uh, to generate uh, CSR funds. So, welcome to uh, this webinar, uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor Dr. T. Janaki Ram Sir. So, sir, uh, with the lot, uh, this is the second uh, webinar we are conducting with the support of our Honorable Vice Chancellor. Uh, Janaki Ram sir, and uh, sir wanted to have an interaction meeting with the, all uh, uh, CEOs that uh, companies, private industries, and firms, and uh, to generate the CSR funds. With the main objective is strengthening of its infrastructure and uh, okay. for a social cause like uh, women uh, empowerment, uh, rural youth, farmers uh, training programs, some kind of assistance. Uh, with that idea. actually uh, sir uh, uh, with the due to preoccupied work uh, sir could not join now and uh, with the support of our honorable vice chancellor we are conducting this is the second time earlier just we have conducted interaction meeting uh, now this is uh, for the csr funds uh, uh, we are conducting uh, welcome to dr vyasar horticulture university and uh, uh, confederation of uh, indian industry with the combination and uh, with all the private industries and the firms we are conducting sir and uh, uh, welcome to our uh, uh, university officers uh, director of research dr narman naid garu registrar dr b srinivasul garu dean of horticulture dr s padmatham garu director of extension dr karuna sri garu dean of pg studies dr suri kumar garu uh, coe 
కంట్రోలర్ ఆఫ్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ డాక్టర్ వెంకటస్వామి గారు డీన్ ఆఫ్ స్టూడెంట్ అఫైర్స్ డాక్టర్ సలోమి సునీత గారు ఇంజనీర్ ఎస్టేట్ ఆఫీసర్ ఇంజనీర్ మల్లికార్జున రావు గారు కంట్రోలర్ మేడం శశికల గారు ఆల్ సిఇఓస్ ఆఫ్ ప్రైవేట్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ జీవి సుబ్బారెడ్డి గారు వైస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ కోరమండల్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ లిమిటెడ్ విజయవాడ అండ్ శ్రీ ఎంజీకే మూర్తి ఆర్డి వరప్రసాద్ ఆన్ బిహాఫ్ ఆఫ్ మూర్తి సార్ రీజనల్ మేనేజర్ యూనియన్ బ్యాంక్ ఆర్డి వరప్రసాద్ చీఫ్ మేనేజర్ యూనియన్ బ్యాంక్ తాడేపల్లి గూడెం నితిన్ గైక్వాడ్ ఐటిసి లిమిటెడ్ గుంటూర్ అండ్ శ్రీ టిఎస్పి రాజు గారు వరలక్ష్మి ఇండస్ట్రీస్ ప్రైవేట్ లిమిటెడ్ హైదరాబాద్ శ్రీ నసీం అలీ ఫార్మర్ సిఇఓ ఆయిల్ పామ్ ప్లాంటేషన్ గోడ్రేజ్ అగ్రోవేట్ లిమిటెడ్ ప్రెసెంట్లీ అన్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ కన్సల్టెంట్ అండ్ శ్రీ అవినాష్ జిఎంఆర్ వరలక్ష్మి ప్రొడక్షన్స్ శ్రీ ఎంఎస్ ప్రసాద్ జైన్ ఇరిగేషన్ సిస్టమ్స్ లిమిటెడ్ శ్రీ శ్రీనివాస్ రెడ్డి కట్ట ఐడియా బైట్ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ ఇండియా ప్రైవేట్ లిమిటెడ్ హైదరాబాద్ శ్రీ రాజు గారు లోటస్ వాల్యూస్ వెస్ట్ గోదావరి డిస్టిక్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ అదర్ సిఇఓస్ ఆఫ్ ప్రైవేట్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ అండ్ ఫార్మ్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ అవర్ జోనల్ హెడ్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ అసోసియేట్ డీన్స్ ఆఫ్ కాలేజెస్ ఆఫ్ హార్టికల్చర్స్ ఆఫ్ డాక్టర్ వైఎస్ఆర్ హార్టికల్చర్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఆల్ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ ఆఫ్ పాలిటెక్నిక్ కాలేజెస్ ఆల్ హెడ్స్ ఆఫ్ రీసెర్చ్ స్టేషన్స్ అండ్ కెవికేస్ అండ్ ఆల్ సైంటిస్ట్ and all teachers of dr vyasar horticulture university and today uh, rapport years dr e jeevana lakshmi assistant professor college of horticulture vr godam and uh, dr y lakshmi prasanna assistant professor college of horticulture vr godam will act as rapport years and uh, welcome sir welcome to this uh, august gathering that webinar uh, uh to generate csr yeah. funds for the strengthening yeah. of its uh, uh infrastructure in uh, vyasar horticulture university and uh, before uh, uh, going to introduction that uh, just i uh, will have a, a glance uh, for dr vyasar horticulture university and uh, pavan just share the screen so i am dr k dhananjara director of industrial and international programs dr vyasar horticulture university vengatraman gudam so dr vyasar horticulture university uh, just to have an idea to the private uh, uh, industries ceos and firms dr vyasar horticulture university second of its kind in the country was established by the government of andhra pradesh on 26th june 2007 this university is functioning with a mandate to develop home resources through education research and extension in horticulture and allied sectors through 43 institutions the constituent colleges of horticulture 4 uh, horticulture politics in 4 horticulture research stations 20 krishi vigyan kendras 4 affiliated colleges of horticulture 4 and affiliated horticulture polytechnics 7 uh, uh, totally 43 institutes under the uh, control of dr vyasar horticulture university it is a state wide university government uh, uh, university uh, government uh, dr vyasar chu is offering bsc honors horticulture bmsc horticulture and phd in horticulture with specialization in fruit science vegetable science floriculture and landscape architecture plantation spices medicinal and aromatic uh, Uh, post harvest technology plant pathology and entomology besides two year development the university the university has uh, awarded horticulture degree so far 2654 students 2125 in bsc honors horticulture 467 in msc horticulture and 62 in phd horticulture a uh, university has released 27 varieties in various uh, horticulture crops 18 uh, released varieties were notified at national level Dr. Vyasar Hitch is concentrating on transfer of technologies to farmers, rural youth and women directly and through the advocates, development of horticulture, agriculture and allied sectors of government of Andhra Pradesh. And uh, the mandate mainly to train the human resources needed to development of horticulture and allied sciences through education, to generate technologies for crop improvement, production, protection and post-harvest technology of horticulture crops through research. to transfer disseminate the technology generated to the farm 
client by the university itself and also in collaboration with the line departments for overall development of production through accession. And uh, corporate social responsibility, uh, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Government of India notified the Section 135 of the Companies Act 2013, along with the Companies Corporate Social Responsibility Rules 2014, the CSR rules and other notifications related thereon, uh, there to make it mandatory with effect from 1st April 2014 for certain companies who fulfill the criteria as a sub mentioned under the subsection 1 of the section 135 to comply with the provision rele relevant to the corporate social responsibility. And CSR provides to spend 2% of average net profits as per the section 198 of the Companies Act 2013 of the last three years and CSR activities which are carried out to for large larger public goods, preferably in the local areas where they operate. The terms corporate social responsibility can be referred to as corporate initiative to assess and take responsibility for the company's effects on the environment and impact on social welfare. So the following areas may be considered under CSR activities. Our uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor and uh, the constituted a committee to frame the guidelines for the CSR funds. And uh, as per the guidelines of the ICR, we have also uh, framed the guidelines uh, to get the CSR funds from the government. The committee has submitted the report with all university officers. And uh, Dr. Janikaram sir is the chairman and uh, uh, Deep is the convener with all university officers who have constituted and they framed the guidelines from uh, for the Dr. Vyasar Horticulture University. And the following areas may be considered under CSR activities promotion of, for promotion of education, infrastructure like classrooms, buildings, sports complexes, libraries, etc., for uh, higher horticulture education, uh, construction of hostels, SEST girls hostels, modernization of classrooms, exper experiential learning centers, support for repair, extension, etc., of auditorium and educational institutions. Women empowerment for women empowerment, R and D for farm tools for women farmers, capacity building of women farmers, development of gender friendly farm equipments, women farmers trainees hostels in KVKs, women entrepreneurs training by KVKs, and employment enhancing vocational skills in the in which training of uh, uh, trainers and farmers projects under students ready farmers first area. Support to technical vocational institutions, programs for their self-development, training for the horticulture experts, certificate uh, courses, and, uh, and the fund technology incubators located within central universities under which uh, you can finance to the funding of 40 uh, business incubation centers located in different uh, deemed universities and uh, central horticulture universities. Funds provided to the Hearty business incubation center located within Dr. YSRH institutions for up, uh, upscaling technology and developing market linkages, establishment of horticulture incubation centers in all degree colleges of our, uh, Dr. YSRHU, and uh, research and training, establishment of center of excellences for production of uh, quality seed plant material and research stations, establishment of mini processing plants in all colleges, proposed uh, farmers hostel. So these are the areas we have identified from Dr. Vyasar Horticulture University uh, to sponsor the CSR funds uh, by the corporates uh, to, for strengthening of its infrastructure, for the benefit of the farming community, for the benefit of the women uh, farmers, uh, rural youth uh, of Andhra Pradesh. So with the, this motto, uh, we are connecting today uh, with uh, uh, that, uh, with the main committee steering one community committee will be there. Uh, the, with the vice chancellor as the chairman, and director of extension, dean of agriculture, director of research, register, dean of PG studies, dean of uh, student affairs, university librarian, controller of examinations, state officer, controller, and uh, director of industrial and international programs will act as a convener. With the university one steering committee will be there and. Uh, the funds, uh, the, uh, with the, the funds will be maintained by the controller of Dr. Vyasar Ichu, and uh, this all uh, uh, the expert committee will be there, and uh, the expert committee will screen the all uh, uh, projects, and uh, uh, with that approval of the expert committee, uh, we will. Uh,
uh, approve the projects and uh, we'll uh, with the consultation of the corporates and uh, the whoever comes forward uh, for the sponsoring CSR funds. Uh, uh, so uh, we will uh, welcome them. And uh, before going to our university officers, our uh, uh, guests today, uh, the oh, speakers are coming. Main, main speakers are there. Sri G. V. Sudharidgaru, Madam. Sri G. V. Sudharidgaru, Vice President, Coromandel International Limited, Vijayawada. Welcome, sir, the first speaker. I invite uh, uh, Sudharidgaru to speak on uh, uh, this occasion. The Vice President, Coromandel International Limited, Vijayawada. Sir. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. Uh, uh, thanks for inviting the industry for interacting with the university officials, the Honorable Vice Chancellor, the deans of the department, uh, differ, different department, director of extension, director of uh, research, the principals of the different colleges, senior uh, scientists, then the, the more than this thing, the skilled farm laborers who are associated with the KVK's research institutes and my fellow industry colleagues. Uh, it's an, a, it's a, I'm very, very happy to note that university has taken articles, university has taken a lead to interact with the industry and to take it forward. Before going into the topic, uh, let me convey my heartfelt uh, Namaskars to the farming country, farming community of this country, who has helped the India to withstand during the COVID time. We all know that how agriculture has been performed, and this is the time to salute the farming community of the India, and we also salute the the scientific community who are behind the the farmers in enhancing the productivity and production of the Indian agriculture and horticulture. At one time, we all know that during when independence, we got the independence with the population of uh, fifty crores. We were with uh, begging bowl. To yesterday, you might have been seen. India has crossed even the Chinese level of the population. Today, we are the largest in the world in the population. Yet, we are feeding our own population. And today, we could able to export to the other country. Again, the credit goes to the scientists, agricultural extension officers, mainly to the farmers and the agri input industry who are associated in enhancing the production and productivity. Uh, we all know that today the India, the challenge is not only the, the uh, food security, there is a challenge for the nutrient security. Now we are moving towards that. And if the nutrient security has to be taken care, the, the horticulture plays a, a greater role in, a, in providing nutritious food and which will help in improving the immunity. This is on one side. The other side, having said that uh, the you know, food production as well the horticultural production has gone up but if you go back to the villages and see the fate of the farmers what it was 30 years 50 years back what it was 30 years back and what it is today is entirely different time has come industry and the scientific community need to work together in enhancing not only the productivity of the farmer how it is going to enhance the profitability to the farmer Today, when we go to the field, when we advise the more production and productivity to production technology or techniques or products, the farmer immediately questions, why should I produce more? If I produce more, my tomatoes are being sold at two rupees or it is the same with the case with the onion or whatever the product may be. So unless we take care about the farmer's income, Today, as you rightly said, sir, in the CSR activities also, you have very clearly mentioned empowerment of the women and the, you know, helping the rural youth. The biggest challenge today India is facing is rural youth. Rural youth are running away from the agriculture. The challenge for the scientific community, the challenge for the industry is how are you going to sustain a minimum number of rural youth in agriculture? Otherwise, it would be very difficult. Now, the earlier thinking was, you know, the, maybe 30, 40 years back, there was a big gap 
between the government institutes and the input private, private or public sector industries. There used to be a different silos and people, they don't have much trust on each other. And always scientific community feels they used to feel that why we should associate with the industry guy. Right? And industry people used to feel why I should spend three or four years time to get a one result from the industry. The things have been changed. India started learning from the other countries. And now public-private partnership is a must to create win, win, win situation. That is, it is not only the winning by the scientific community, nor the, the private industry. Guys, ultimately, our winning or your winning also should help. The society should win ultimately. Yes, this partnership definitely would be helpful. And while industry has some advantages, the other, there are many advantages with the government institutes, particularly the agriculture or horticulture universities, the industry should be able to they take good out of those ideas from the universities and they should be able to replicate in the field, which would be helpful to the farm, not only the farmer, even for sustainability of the, the industry. The, we all know that, you know, today the challenge is how the soil health is being affected, climate change, and we enjoyed many things from this nature. We also have the responsibility to ensure the future generations are intact. India or China, the countries like India or China, the way Malay, the, the Singapore depends on the imports, we cannot depend because no country can feed a country like China or India. So our responsibility is to ensure how this journey of the food production and nutrient security will continue in this a strong association between the universities and the private industry. Again, I repeat, it would be helpful not only to the industry, not to the university. The combination of the, the efforts would be useful to the farming community at a large to society. Now, Dr. Saab, you have put in a title, you know, how to invite the CSR funds. Normally being a scientist, you are very straight in the hit. Rather, you might have <laughs> put how to improve the industry business by associating with the universities and how the companies can help in building the infrastructure. Uh, in a lighter mode, I'm quoting, but the uh, ultimately mode. Uh, as a quality from CIA, we would be allowed to associate with the universities, we have already started in both the Telugu states, you know, the, the universities, uh, both the agriculture and horticulture universities. So we have done many a program and in further in association with horticulture, so the university, we would like to continue our journey, particularly the coming to the Coromandel International. We would be interested in three or one is the woman entrepreneur, uh, the, you know, the arrangement training, as well as, you know, the training the trainers as well as the farmers. The third establishment of the CV may not be entirely biased. Part of it, we propose to the board, we'll take up, we'll come. A team of the, my colleagues I'll bring to the university of, uh, to your headquarters. We'll have a joint meeting. We'll discuss further. Definitely, you know, the uh, sponsoring the for trainers as well as the former training program to the extent of the 100 numbers during any uh, during any year. Definitely we will take it uh, forward. Similarly, the Women Entrepreneurs Training Program, last we are also trying to stop near Samar Lakota. We'll come to you. We'll take your help in, in establishing ideas, your assistance in that. And similarly, we also will allow to uh, connect with the universities, the COE. And uh, we look forward for your active in association with the industry. Ultimately, the everybody need to survive and we need to ensure that the, 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 the continuity of food production, most of the, the fruit and vegetable uh, the production, which is going to have, if we want to increase the farmer's income, as the, the Prime Minister of India is dreaming to double the farmer's income, it would be possible through horticulture crops by creating the food processing. They, I appeal to the scientific community. It is not just you know sending 
our bananas, our chilies to the other states of the other country. We need to ensure how are you going to add the value for it, thereby our, our farmer gets a better price, our state will get benefited. We look forward towards that direction. And I thank each one of you for giving this opportunity to share few of our ideas with you. Thank you, thank you, doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much uh, for your uh, valuable speech. And uh, you have stressed for the public-private partnership. And uh, you want to sponsor 100 uh, training programs for the farmers, especially women farmers, and the uh, center of excellences you want to support. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, uh, just uh, in the first meeting, uh, you are encouraging a lot, uh, Dr. Vyasar Hartikajar University, uh, by sponsoring 100 training programs uh, to the farmers and the women farmers. And definitely, sir, same kind of cooperation from Dr. Vyasar Hartikajar University. All scientists also, uh, we will sit together and uh, uh, we discuss with our uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor and uh, we frame the that route map, how to get it the funds and uh, how to submit the uh, projects. Uh, definitely. Thank you, sir. We will have a public-private partnership. And uh, in uh, you are also stressed, stressed for the fruits and the vegetable uh, processing. Uh, definitely, we will concentrate on uh, uh, this aspect also, sir. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, uh, valuable suggestions. And uh, next uh, speaker, I invite uh, uh, Dr. Sri Naseem Ali Garu, former CEO, Oil plant plantation plantations, oil palm plantations, Godrej Agrovet Limited, and presently an independent consultant, sir. Welcome, sir. Welcome to uh, this webinar. Kindly, sir, proceed. Sir, am I audible, sir? Audible, audible. Thank you so much. My sincere thanks and gratitude to Dr. Kananjay Rao Garu, Dr. Janaki Ram Garu. Registrar, Dr. Srinivasan and senior dignitaries. Good afternoon to all of you. My thanks to all of you because for having me here today on this session. Now, whatever I am going to talk and express my views is purely based on my experience and personal capacity and does not reflect the views of any institute or organization or company. My suggestion to generate CSR fund for strengthening of infrastructure in Dr. Weiser Horticulture University at Venkatar Gauram, West Godavari District, Andhra Pradesh, is based on certain CSR activities. According to me, I take it on a three pillars, R, E, M. R stands for research and development, E stands for employment and economic improvement, and M stands for mechanization. Let me express one by one the views. So for research and development is concerned, it should be based on farm tools, gender-friendly farm equipment, specifically for women farmer who will be able to utilize comfortably during their inspection and work at site. Crop productivity improvement. Last but not the least, we need to improve our crop productivity through real-time solution to the farmers. These activities need support from two ends. It's a two-way traffic. One is the university, like Dr. Weiser Horticulture University, and the other end is the corporate or the companies. That's why I said it should be two-way traffic. Let me take more specific example in this regard. As most of our delegates are aware, what happened in 2018, 19, 19, 20, and part of 2021 caused by the pest attack, white fly attack in oil palm field in West Godavari and East Godavari district of Andhra Pradesh. So there is a need for pest control through biological process. 
I must say biological control. Now, due to that white fly attack, our oil palm growers, the farmers, the smallholders lost heavily with the statistics, if I express, it may not be out of place to mention here that the farmers lost around 20 to 30 percent of their fresh fruit bunch yield, which causes them loss four to six tons fresh food bunch yield reduction per hectare per year. It means they have lost financially to the exchequer rupees 40,000 to 60,000 rupees per hectare per year during that year. And it's a matter of fact. Similarly, the corporates, the processing companies also lost due to less oil extraction out of the fresh food bunch they received. Sir, your and voice that is not audible. To the extent of rupees one and one and a half lakh per hectare, out of which they used to receive the FFB for processing in their factory or in their mill. So focus on R&D is the need of the hour. Second is the economic and environmental improvement through employment enhancing skill. As pointed out yesterday in business line, Mr. R. Srinivasan, and I agree fully that the one sector which is strategically important and shall provide highest dividends in terms of development in horticulture and agriculture. It has been considered across the globe, irrespective of high economy, middle or low economy, that agriculture, including horticulture, technologies viewed as most important priority sector, followed by education and workforce development technologies. Now, there are two kinds of jobs that's available today in front of us. One is called social job and other is called the green job. The social job refers to education, health sector, etc. Whereas the green job refers to agriculture, horticulture, fisheries, agroforestry, environmental management, etc. Two thirds of our population in our country today is dependent on horticulture and agriculture. And the principal challenge would be to create enough jobs. India is witnessing a boom in agri-tech innovation at the moment. But at the user end, where these innovations will have to be implemented and used, we lack the skills to be implemented. I repeat, we lack the skills to make this happen. And it is every time said that use technology to transform Indian agriculture. But I personally feel and I believe that first Indian farmer needs to transform herself too through skill development and education than what our underfunded and under-equipped basic education infrastructure is capable of delivering. Through vocational skill development, we will be able to enhance the employment and we will be able to improve our productivity when there is a deficit of availability of the workers in the field. Our farmers should be independent instead of depending on somebody else from the outside workforce. We should be able to show them the path and probably it is possible. And I won't say probably, rather I'm confident to say that there is a need for vocational skill development and it is a must and a mandatory in hobby and agri sector. Third is the mechanization. Focus on pre and post harvesting technology through mechanization and is 
need of the hour. I feel that business leaders of the corporates should come forward more aggressively, raise CSR fund, engage Dr. Weiser Horticulture University in various manners or ways, like identify the specific problem, the project, award the problem, award the project to Dr. Weiser Horticulture University by signing the MOU or MOA, Memorandum of Understanding, with a specific time limit. Thirdly, Hardly 1% of the total revenue of the respective business unit of the corporate should allocate R&D work for their various purposes. And a part of it, a part of 1% should go to Dr. Weiser Horticulture University for these purposes. And we may divest that amount in respect of horticulture university for the project work once it is allocated to them. Dr. Weiser Horticulture University is one of the most reputed horticulture university and having lot of data resources with them available. And I believe with that belief and level of confidence, corporates should come forward and engage themselves with Dr. Horticulture University, award them the project and ensure that it becomes a win-win situation under PPP model, that is public-private partnership model. With this few words, I thank to all the senior dignitaries, the director, the horticulture universities, and the vice chancellor and other senior members. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Nassim Maligaru, you are the great uh, uh, consultant in Nile Palm. And I have stressed for the farmers training program, especially women farmers, to increase the farm productivity and the biological control in oil palm and uh, vocational skill development uh, in horticulture and agriculture uh, and mechanization. You have stressed in mechanization and uh, you want to identify the specific problem. According to that, the projects have to be submitted to get the CR CSR funds through the MOUs or the MOA. So, uh, and uh, to work, uh, to solve the problems, PPP mode, public-private partnership mode. So, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, definitely, we'll keep in mind all your suggestions uh, in uh, frame the, uh, framing the projects. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll Next, be uh, giving, since I have some other appointments, we do apologize. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for participating. Thank you. Next, I invite uh, Sri uh, Srinivas Riddigar Katta, Idea Bytes, Software India Private Limited, Hyderabad. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for the opportunities. Uh, good afternoon, Sri Katch. So, thank you for giving the opportunity and uh, also inviting me to this uh, conference. I have a couple of slides, sir. I will share you and uh, give my uh, my inputs and we are a small company but uh, thought that we can share some of our inputs and uh, maybe that is valuable. Sure, sure, sure. sure, sure. Proceed. So, you can see my screen, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Visible. Okay. So, uh, we are actually established in 2009, sir, as a company. We are there into uh, number of areas, IoT and uh, other areas. Um, we have global customers in different spaces. Uh, 100 member team is there in Hyderabad. We are working in uh, uh, cloud based solutions and IoT, other things. And uh, there are so many sensors we have been uh, deploying in the market. Uh, of course, Godrej Agrovit is one of our company and is one of our customers. Like they are using our sensors and in dairy sector for temperature and humidity and other areas. We also deployed in uh, beverages, Coca-Cola and other uh, many companies. So we have around 100 plus customers are in this space. And uh, just to uh, elaborate, I think this is some problem. Uh, are you able to? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No problem. Okay. Continue. Issue actually. Uh, so we, uh, if I just to uh, 
mention about our journey with uh, uh, the the university we signed mou in uh, 2019 uh, yes, we, we installed iot sensors in uh, poly houses in coe center of excellence uh, department and uh, we actually for monitoring various parameters our idea was that uh, when we discussed with the the, uh, the director of research and uh, director of industry promotions that whatever the technology you have it should be useful to the students and farmers so what we thought is we will use all our uh, installation of uh, all our hardware and software solutions in the university so that uh, the data can be useful for your research purposes and we also used uh, some drones to uh, uh, you know take in the university campus so that uh, uh, the marketing and in terms of uh, we we get so much excited and so much uh, really felt happy to see such a large campus so we uh, took the uh, the whole campus and we published it and we marketed uh, kind of uh, just improving the brand ima image of the university uh, because there are very few videos in youtube so we thought we should uh, do uh, and uh, these are all done more of our uh, contribution to the university to you know spare some bandwidth and effort uh, and we went to different uh, research stations we visited different villages and uh, so we are doing the projects in uh, early disease detection and collected uh, some thousands of photos, uh, you know, taking the help from the local, your uh, research station staff and professors. So, of course, uh, AML takes a lot of investment and time. I think we, uh, soon after this uh, MOU signed, there was a COVID impact and we could not move and uh, still research is ongoing, sir. But uh, we are very happy to contribute and collaborate in the research projects of IoT and uh, artificial intelligence and uh, ML and DL area. Uh, I think one of the things I was uh, uh, impressed is a very small word, but I think it was uh, uh, felt so happy and that the university has such a large campus, so many facilities. And uh, I know that it has been uh, the, the best art culture university in India and uh, with so much of research capacity and capability and uh, extension programs are there uh, helping the farmers. I was interacting with them and even farmers are recognizing uh, the staff saying that okay how they are doing what they are doing so i mean that that kind of a the, the atmosphere was very very good and so many geographical research possibilities i think uh, i visited only four to five uh, even uh, banana research station also we visited i think uh, around five stations we visited but every time we visit we get so many ideas and uh, thoughts to how can we support actually in agri the sector so many fruits, vegetables, and I think the overall uh, the impression is great. And you have a large pool of research students. I think uh, in terms of doing some ex experiments and doing research activities and understanding how it can be used, uh, discussing with farmers and uh, so much farmer friendly. Even there is the Hasada hostels for farmers also. I think overall uh, it was really a fantastic experience for us. And uh, having seen that so many uh, strengths of the university. Um, what I was thinking is, how can this uh, CSR funds, of course, uh, always any development needs uh, funds. And uh, just to see the you know, obligations and CSR funds uh, possibilities. Yeah, uh, Sarah also covered this point that 2% of the average net profit should be contributed as a CSR funding. And uh, there are three provisions, actually. I think net worth, either 500 crores or turnover should be 1,000 crores or net profit uh, more than 5 crores. So what I found actually, what I was discussing also, I have even some of my friends are there in the agro startup uh, startups in this community. Many of the SMEs, SMEs are startups are not falling into this obligation, even though I think the, the strength of startups is uh, they have to innovate and they have to keep thinking in new ideas into the, otherwise uh, there is no investment uh, support for them. So I think the best way they can be used is to uh, use for the research and how can they enable uh, for giant projects, the giant research? I think that is the, one of the strength I found. And uh, we we have been working with uh, the university and also even Telangana COE, uh, we have been uh, working uh, in a number of areas in the similar lines. And of course, ex not expecting any anything from the university. It is more of our own contribution to see how we can help and uh, grow together in this, in this space. And uh, just to elaborate in some more, my thoughts are actually in terms of CSR funding uh, different avenues. So if you see the, the there are three possibilities I felt that uh, the, the way we should be tackling this. One is, of course, all the, uh, the big companies in this space, uh, Coromandel is there and uh, uh, Godrej Agravet uh, in terms of production like ITC and so many other companies. And there are collaborative organizations like NABAD and Ecosad and this and that. I think these are all uh, well known. Everybody knows this fact 
and there are number of government supporting uh, support mechanisms like funds and uh, the research and development like uh, i was discussing with the dot department of telecom they are happy to support any research related uh, funds uh, for uh, doing the projects in with colleges with uh, focusing on research and innovation for example how do you deploy 5g technology which can help uh, rural technology or uh, agriculture or farmers so this is one of the space i am working on this and uh, want to include also uh, dr vaisa university's uh, facilities and campus how we can work on this kind of uh, innovative projects and apart from this uh, the third point is non agriculture based companies they have no agriculture base but still they are actually they csr mandate is there to support uh, the agriculture research and universities and uh, the ecosystem so i mentioned some but i think uh, do the doing the research and understanding which csr mandates companies mandates are uh, able to support this uh, you know th that is one avenue we can think of so in in net net i think there are three different uh, ways or possibilities one is of course uh, looking at the big companies uh, where which can use uh, the dr ysr facilities research uh, capability and such a large capacity and second is government uh, projects which are uh, open to give uh, so much funding third is non agriculture but they are willing to at least sponsor uh, to the uh, to the cause and i just uh, got some web sources there are so many companies that are doing that in rural development uh, this uh, agriculture space i mentioned some but uh, i think if we tackle there will be many companies and uh, there are also one interesting thing i found is that there are many companies or uh, consultants who are actually in this field of helping uh, in in uh, helping in uh, getting the csr funds uh, some i named here but there are many individual consultants also who help who specialize actually in dealing with uh, csr funds that can be one of the idea that uh, uh, university can approach and see how they can be involved in long term basis because uh, they have their own channels to reach i think they have their own experience to reach the csr funds uh, it's always not uh, straight forward and simple uh, if somebody is having uh, so much experience in C uh, dealing with csr funds uh, they can be at least taken as a contract basis or project basis and can be utilized so that is my one of my thinking and uh, how we can help actually in this in this whole journey is uh, joining the r and d projects i started discussing with the department of telecom i, I actually i came from uh, its background indian telecom services so some of my batchmates are uh, holding uh, ddg and other positions and i thought uh, why not we use uh, the 5g technology pilots in agriculture sector and uh, working along with the universities uh, so i referred uh, dr vaisa uh, uh, our mou also saying that we can do the pilots taking the facilities uh, looking for funds and uh, as soon as i i get some positive response i want to include this and uh, we are very happy to give sponsorship uh, internships to the students and uh, with a small uh, stipends also who are interested to work in the agri sector technology and uh, sensors uh, in terms of learning uh, aml technology i think we are very happy and uh, to give that kind of encouragement to the students and uh, participating in any guest lectures workshops in the technology space and aiding any research projects actually which which requires technology support which requires our uh, the in terms of deep understanding and knowledge and we have been uh, recruiting some best guys from the market because to sustain even a small company we need a best of the uh, people from the skills so we have been in the product uh, product space and we have been doing a number of products i think we are happy to you know work with you in getting the some of the research area and uh, the ideas and uh, way for just to summarize sir actually mous with the msmes and uh, startups will help in terms of research ecosystem and in, in new initiatives new thought process new ideas um, they also can be used for uh, joint projects for government funds for example uh, i know that dot has some uh, 400 crores fund uh, allocated for uh, doing the projects in in the, in the different spaces technology space so Uh, there are uh, there are, like that there are maybe many departments uh, which are ready to help but they should be a compelling uh, business model and purpose and uh, it should serve uh, then uh, i think it's one of that is one of the avenue and there are number of consultants uh, with the percentage are uh, they are uh, they are truly professional companies which deal with this and uh, reaching to companies who are looking for collaboration i mean uh, one of the, my friend was working in csr uh, department in a big company he says that they are very open to uh, listen and uh, there there is a separate department set up for csr funds so uh, we have to reach out to them we have to mail them we have to explain them uh, and and one most important thing is 
please invite them to the uh, campus sir i think that will really open up their uh, their uh, eyes and ears and because seeing the facilities and seeing the kind of contribution you are doing to the society i think uh, there will be more and more people uh, willingness to do the csr funds and even non agri based companies also i think uh, that's so all from my side i have inserted also some of the uh, who are doing the csr funds uh, in different areas so thank you once again for giving this opportunity and uh, if, if any questions are there i'm i'm happy to take sir thank you thank you sir trinwas reddy garu already we have signed a mou in 2019 and uh, it is very happy that we have visited our uh, research stations and uh, understood what is going on and uh, thank you very much for your uh, you want to support internship stipends uh, to guest lectures workshops aiding research projects in terms of uh, uh, that software and uh, you have given some of the ideas for see uh, the tab how the tapping funds from the different companies uh, thank you very much sir definitely and inviting uh, uh, people to the university this is the just a beginning Uh, the first we, one we are connecting webinar after that we invite definitely uh, the corporates to the horticulture university and uh, discuss with them uh, thank you sir thank you very much uh, thank you uh, very much thank you sir next sri uh, <clears throat> mg k murthy yes sir in place regional manager union bank uh, yellow ఆర్ డి వర్ప్రసాద్ గారు చీఫ్ మేనేజర్ యూనియన్ బ్యాంక్ తాడేపల్లి గుడెం సార్ యూఆర్ దేర్ హలో ఇఫ్ సార్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఎస్ సార్ ఐ ఆమ్ దేర్ అవర్ రీజన్ హెడ్ సార్ ఇస్ నాట్ దేర్ బికాస్ సమ్ అన్ఫార్చునేట్ థింగ్ వాస్ హ్యాపన్ ఇన్ హిస్ ఫ్యామిలీ దట్స్ వై ఈస్ నాట్ ఎబుల్ టు పాస్ for this csr activity that's why um uh, being the, the banker for dr vaisar hatical university venkatraman gudem sir uh, thank you so much for inviting us for this webinar uh, 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 first of all hi uh, uh, first of all good morning sir to our vc sir dr t janaki ram sir uh, registrar sir dr uh, uh, srinivasul sir and convener of this uh, meeting uh, sri uh, uh, dr dhanindra sir good afternoon to uh, and all the dignitaries of this uh, webinar meeting who is participating in this uh, sir um, being the banker for this uh, uh, dr prestigious uh, vysr horticulture university venkatramanigedam under csr activity um, it is a great thing uh, to invite us uh, to participate in this uh, uh, webinar sir um, actually uh, for csr activity uh, under uh, these activities uh, many dignitaries have already spoken about promotion of uh, infrastructure to education and um, for women empowerment and support for technical skills and uh, vice versa and being the uh, bank or union bank of india we are helping uh, many uh, many uh, customers of our uh, uh, around this tadapur uh, area uh, being the lead banker for the state union bank of india is uh, doing a lot of things uh, to priority sector especially for farming community um, uh, uh, different farmers uh, in in terms of agriculture uh, for crop production and for uh, helping through loans uh, with a meager uh, rate of interest for agricultural implements like uh, tractors rotavators and also uh, uh, in terms of women entrepreneurship and women emp- empowerment uh, our bank is doing excellent thing for uh, shg borrowers in lending Uh, in the entire state and especially our branch is doing uh, more than 6000 uh, women entrepreneurs around this area under agriculture farming uh, activity our branch is doing more than 1000 uh, farmers in different activities like uh, crop loans and uh, farm mechanization for helping the tractors and something like that and in terms of technical skills development we are giving loans under uh, pm ugp scheme pm swanidhi scheme a kadi village industries came to more than 1000 altogether our branch is helping more than 10000 to 11000 borrowers around this area and um, uh, in terms of csr activities concerned sir we are very much uh, our bank is very much helpful to uh, 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 come up uh, with a uh, project when dr vaisar horticulture university 
gives a, a proposal for any uh, of these uh, promotion for infrastructure to education or women empowerment, support for technical skills, something like that. Uh, uh, with a committee, when we all come together and speak uh, to our high, higher authorities, um, uh, our management side, when, we, when you give any uh, proposal like that, we will definitely take up this proposal to our higher authorities and whatever the, uh, whatever the uh, development act we are going to conduct in the near future, we will definitely come up to uh, your extent, uh, uh, your uh, uh, um, uh, thoughts and uh, in thinking process. We will definitely take up this matter to our top management sir. So uh, since our uh, recently had MGK Muthi sir is not available, uh, I just want to uh, 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 talk from our recent uh, office, our operations chief manager Sri Sanjay Raghuru also uh, to uh, have a word uh, with you sir to help this CSR activity under many projects. So kindly uh, I invite our uh, Sanjeev Rao sir, CM operations from regional uh, office Eluru sir. Sir, definitely sir. Sir, sir, good, sir good, uh, afternoon. good afternoon. Sir, good afternoon, Dhananjay Garu. Uh, welcome, sir, welcome. Uh, already our chief manager told you our, uh, our uh, regional head could not participate in the meeting. So yes, sir, sudden, yes, sir. Uh, demise of uh, his father, uh, he, was, he is on leave. Sir, whatever the deliberations well, made now in this meeting, yes, I will put forth before my top management the August uh, cause yes, of sir. this university. And thank you for giving me this opportunity, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, you are thank you, sir, for inviting us for this webinar, sir. Thank you, sir. I thank, I thank you, sir. So you uh, promised that a few proposals uh, for the sponsoring from the CSR yes, funds, sir. definitely, sir. We will, we will come up with proposals to you, and uh, you are uh, helping a lot of the uh, farming community. Ten thousand farm loans are given, especially six thousand women uh, farmers yes, are given loans, and uh, as a yes. lead bank in this area. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, you want to support to Dr. Vyasar Horticultural University also. Thank you very much. And definitely we will uh, sit together and uh, uh, discuss and uh, uh, submit the proposals. And uh, uh, by, uh, you, can, you can sponsor the CSR funds. Thank you very much, sir. Thank Tourist. you. Thank you, sir. Next, uh, I will invite, I will invite uh, Nitin Gaikwad, ITC Limited Guntur. Sir Gaikwad, sir, sir is there online? Yeah, hi. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, sir. Welcome to Horticulture University. Thank you. Uh, yes. Thanks, thanks for inviting us. Uh, although our vice president was supposed to join, but uh, uh, he he is on official travel, so he could not. So I am joining on behalf of him. I'm working as a senior manager uh, in ITC Agribusiness Management, Agribusiness Division at Guntur. So uh, ABD's headquarters is at Guntur, but however, uh, ITC's headquarters is at the Kolkata, uh, which comprises various businesses. So Agribusiness being one of them. And uh, thank you for uh, you know inviting us and uh, sharing uh, our experience uh, uh, here at the August Forum. So I'll not take much uh, of your time, but because uh, uh, there are a couple of speakers have already given uh, various ideas of uh, you know how uh, university can leverage the CSR uh, for uh, various types of initiatives which uh, university intends to you know uh, do in the coming uh, coming days or the coming future. So uh, very quickly, if you allow me to you know share the. Uh, ITC's overall uh, yes, you know, sir, yes, sir. program. So I'll, I'll I'll very quickly take you all through you know what ITC is doing currently uh, at at a group level. So, it, so is it visible to all? Yeah, yeah, visible, sir. Proceed. Yeah. So I'll not take much time. Uh, so as I already mentioned, no, 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 no. That we have different types of businesses: FMCG, hotels, agri business, paper. And uh, even IT, ITC Infotech is ITC's uh, fully owned subsidiary. 
so uh, itc is the probably uh, only company uh, in india which is carbon positive since last 16 years uh, water positive from 19 years and solid waste recycling positive from 14 years apart from that we also have uh, significant work into the you know renewable energy wherein we the overall uh, at, a, at a group level whatever our uh, energy requirement is out of that 42 percent comes from uh, the uh, renewable sources we have our own uh, wind farms and you know uh, related solar uh, uh, plants and all uh, and apart from that uh, the various uh, <coughs> buildings uh, including the hotels of itc group are uh, plat lead platinum uh, certified which uh, gives an idea like you know itc is focused towards the sustainability and uh, wherein CSR also plays important role to uh, disseminate various uh, sustainability practices. I'll not go much into the ESG and all, but uh, uh, there's a you know comprehensive uh, sustainability policies which ITC have at the group level, and couple of uh, you know uh, important ones are like uh, uh, pertaining to the human rights, uh, then uh, you know uh, related to the. Uh, social uh, angles, then the environment, uh, uh, health and safety, and uh, even the, you know, uh, uh, maintaining uh, different uh, uh, ethos during the overall supply chain of various businesses. So uh, covering all these areas and the businesses, uh, these policies, you know, guide all the divisions uh, to work upon. Um, so as I said, there are various businesses and uh, under each business, we have a different kind of uh, programs, especially the sustainable interventions or, uh, and the CSR interventions, which we undertake uh, just to give a glimpse of what we do uh, as, as a part of our CSR. So we have two different buckets wherein, you know, the uh, watershed, afforestation, sustainable agriculture, and so on and so forth related or livestock development programs uh, are, are there, uh, which helps in the uh, or, or falls into the rural development uh, kind of a bucket, uh, which uh, the ultimate objective is to increase the awareness, uh, the, the capacity building of the communities and the increasing, uh, you know, contributing for the increasing uh, income of the uh, rural folks, including the farmers. The second bucket is uh, more uh, into the primary education, health and sanitation, and the skilling and vocational training and so on and so forth which uh, wherein the op objective is to, uh, you know, help the disadvantaged, uh, you know, people of the communities. So these are two major buckets uh, under which, you know, ITC uh, undertakes various CSR programs. And uh, this is also in line with the government's, uh, you know, policies or the guidelines uh, under Companies Act, as well as the Section 7 of the, you know, uh, uh, allowed activities which uh, companies need to follow and they need to work upon uh, as as a part of their CSR. So I'll, I'll I'll briefly take you through like what kind of programs uh, we have like in case of uh, rural uh, development or the e chopal is uh, one model which everyone knows probably that how uh, you know we uh, how how e chopal is helping the farmers wherein as a part of overall CSR also, apart from that, we do, you know, provide uh, various services uh, under CSR in the catchment areas. For example, like uh, as it is shown in here, like Chopal Pradesh and Khet, which are uh, specifically the uh, crop demonstration plots. Uh, uh, and uh, apart from that, Swasthya Chopal is another, uh, you know, initiative wherein we do uh, uh, disseminate the best uh, health healthcare practices and the uh, you know awareness uh, about uh, personal health and all amongst the uh, rural communities second is the afforestation program wherein we have different kinds of uh, initiatives like uh, social forestry farm forestry and then uh, we have uh, initiatives related to the building communities uh, you know uh, their their capacity especially for from from forestry point of view and uh, disseminating some innovative uh, technologies which have you know developed at the uh, uh, various institution or the r and d institute level as well as uh, in the pri private sector so this is also one of the big biggest area wherein we have uh, 
you know successfully uh, sequestered a lot of carbon and uh, because of which itc is currently the carbon neutral since <clears throat> last couple of years third is uh, watershed management we do form the water user groups across the states it's not uh, only in one or two states uh, this is across the states and uh, these water user groups you know capacity is being built and even the uh, some uh, infrastructure in terms of uh, check dams and so on and so forth are being you know uh, raised uh, wherever required as per the requirement of the community in in various states uh, currently you know project covers almost like 5.67 lakh acres in four states the next uh, is uh, you know uh, uh, promoting the uh, climate resilient agriculture wherein we have various demonstrations uh, going on across different value chains uh, covering cereals pulses oil seeds fruits vegetables spices and plantation crops like coffee because itc do have uh, through abd do have presence in across all 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 these uh, value chains wherein we have different initiatives like demonstration plots farmer field schools then uh, uh, you know uh, uh, demonstration of new technologies or the uh, uh, resource use efficiency uh, is is one of the area through micro irrigation and organic inputs and all we do carry out the next one is uh, you know related to the uh, uh livestock development wherein we uh, also work with the communities for uh, you know uh, preserving native breeds because that is one of the area wherein we know that you know native breeds are being uh, uh, diminished in 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 many parts of the country and uh, this is very important as far as the maintaining the gene pool of the livestock in india is concerned so that is one area wherein we do uh, work extensively then apart from that milk uh, being one of the uh, what i would say the important activity for the farmers uh, we do help farmers uh, through csr uh, by providing various trainings as well as uh, forming milk marketing societies and helping them to you know uh, market their milk although we are also present into the milk value chain but uh, these are the programs which we are uh, you know uh, implementing since long the next one is uh you know uh, helping the uh, especially women focused interventions like wherein the shgs are being formed and and, and their training and the strengthening is uh, ongoing apart from that uh, especially the uh, linkages of shgs with the uh, financial institutions that is one area wherein uh, itc is uh, focusing uh, you know uh, continuously and trying to help them uh, to uh, you know stand on their own feet and undertake various activities uh, so there are a couple of other related activities also we do like sausage of all also we do uh, run with that like for example whatever shown on the slide like farmer field schools and all those are also uh, uh, you know targeted uh, from women's perspective uh, apart from that women's participation is also being you know focused upon to increase the overall agri value chain where especially in the crops like chili and all we do help uh, you know um, or promote the women to come forward and uh, take part into uh, that particular value chain then uh, next is you know uh, the education wherein uh, we do create the uh, child friendly supportive school environment uh, through various activities like sanitation related trainings Uh, helping schools you know to build the infrastructure uh, related to that then even uh, new innovative uh, teaching methodologies are being uh, you know uh, disseminated as a part of uh, these various initiatives uh, then uh, next one is you know skilling and vocational uh, training so uh, whatever the disadvantaged uh, uh, parts of the society and their uh, you know uh, are there or the rural youth which which requires uh, specific help uh, so in that case itc undertakes the various uh, you know trainings or the vocational training programs and all and not only the trainings but also tries to uh, help them to find uh, suitable employment after that and uh, the last one i would say the, uh, this is related to you know uh, helping the uh, community 
and uh, wherein SHGs and uh, the health and sanitation related specifically, and these SHG, through SHGs, uh, uh, various uh, initiatives like you know uh, helping uh, helping them uh, for for uh, you know having their own toilets and all. So that is also one of the main area. And the last one is waste management, wherein uh, related activities like training of the you know rack pickers or waste workers as well as uh, their health and sanitation related uh, initiatives as well as uh, uh, through our mission sunarakal program we do have different uh, you know activities running across uh, various nagar nigams uh, in, in uh, various pa parts of the country wherein the uh, collection of waste and you know disposal uh, scientific disposal of uh, such waste is one area uh, in which uh, we are working uh, very, uh, you know, uh, vehemently. And uh, this is also one of the major area. And also this is in line with the, uh, you know, uh, government's Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. And uh, we, we are proud that, yes, we are also contributing uh, a bit into that. So, Apart from that, obviously the agri extension services, because since we are related to the agriculture and I'll, I'll just uh, take you through uh, that, like this we have discussed, Chopra Padarshan K, crop development, orchard development and all we do. We have a specific program called Baramani Ariali, wherein the cropping intensity, uh, you know, is being targeted and the increasing the farmer income uh, by uh, different uh, activities like uh, productivity enhancement and uh, income diversification apart from the farming and all uh, being taken up. So these are just the glimpses of what we do uh, in, 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 in CPKs and the crop development program. We have uh, government partnerships also. Uh, we have a number of MOUs across various themes like agri, biodiversity, education, sanitation, solid waste, water stewardship, women empowerment and all. So related to that in various states and with various uh, uh, government agencies. And this one is the last one. And uh, while doing all these things, like how we are contributing to the, uh, you know, uh, sustainable development goals, which are, uh, you know, uh, decided at the international forum and being followed by each and every country. So this is how, uh, you know, uh, all, all, all activities are linked and uh, everything is, uh, you know, focused. Uh, uh, every activity is a focused, uh, you know, uh, to... Uh, according to these these themes and uh, this is in accordance with the guidelines which are given by the government uh, wherein uh, as, as a uh, large organization and being uh, you know responsible uh, towards the society how uh, companies can utilize the csr funds under very specific themes which are given by the government so this is how uh, we do undertake apart from that uh, we already have uh, you know, uh, got uh, very uh, pertinent ideas from the earlier speakers. I just uh, would like to add into that, like agriculture university is very important uh, in a way that uh, for the all uh, farmers as well as the students as well as the industry also. So maybe one area which, uh, you know, uh, horticulture university can explore and which is one of the problems of uh, private sector is like, you know, the farmer uh, capacity building, especially in case of uh, disseminating the uh, improved practices or the varieties and all. So, and, and that is also uh, in the interest of the, uh, you know, agribusiness companies which are working in that space because uh, there is a dire need of that. Obviously, there's, you know, since last two, three decades, we have seen a huge improvement in the agri extension overall. Uh, there are a couple of institutes like manage and all who have given wonderful you know frameworks and uh, uh, even state universities like ysr university and all they have done wonderful job through kvks and all but still there is a you know a scope of improvement into that and that is one area wherein private companies uh, like itc also would like to you know contribute uh, and in a way we are already contributing so that is one area which you know can be explored by the uh, university, uh, which which serves the purpose or the objectives of both the university as well as the private sector. So, uh, thanks, thanks for inviting us, and uh, I would uh, 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 I would say uh, sincere gratitude uh, for uh, you know uh, inviting us. We would be happy to uh, come to uh, university uh, for 
uh, any any such initiative as well as uh, we would be happy to you know interact with students also i think we have already been engaged with the university couple of uh, students we already been uh, uh, you know uh, recruiting for uh, various uh, live projects as well as the summer trainings and all but uh, we'd like to deepen the further uh, relationship and uh, thanks for uh, inviting us and uh, we are open to any uh, suggestion and the questions thank you thank you very much sir uh, nitin gaikwad sir uh, manager itc guntur and uh, thank you very much for uh, you want to cooperate farmers capacity building and uh, students internship placement and uh, so you are uh, i know that uh, you is a big company and we have already signed mou with our itc and you are uh, financing in csr funds watershed social forestry fruits and vegetable demonstration plots artificial intensive insemination development of cattle for meal and uh, employment for underprivileged as a self help groups internship placements waste management so so many things uh, you have covered and our csr funds uh, thank you very much you are uh, cooperating our uh, students uh, earlier also some students have gone undergone internship and uh, we want to have a, a strong collaboration uh, with the itc uh, from dr vyasar horticulture university and uh, students placement uh, so in the further uh, meetings we will discuss and uh, uh, th thank you sir thank you very much for participating and uh, uh giving a speech on this occasion uh, thank you sir thank next you, uh, invite uh, sri avinash gmr foundation varlakshmi productions sir avinash sir gmr gmr foundations sir is there Otherwise, we'll go to MS Prasad, Jain Irrigation Systems, Jain Irrigations. Hello. Or otherwise, we'll go to Raj, TSP Rajgaru, RDB Lakshmi Industries, Hyderabad. So Rajgaru, Rajgaru Lotus Valleys, West Godavari Districts. Rajgaru. Uh, sir, sir. Sir, I'm in. Uh, okay. Proceed. Uh, sir, I'm in. Namaskar, sir. Sir, I'm actually first to actually the flowers, the flowers, the lotus values in a company form just recently a form just some. So, it's the smallest company. So, my team and actually 800 million tons per year in India alone. ఈ ఫ్లవర్స్ అన్ని కూడా వేస్ట్ డంప్ యార్డ్ లోకి వెళ్ళిపోతున్నాయి తర్వాత కెనాల్స్ లోకి వెళ్ళిపోతున్నాయి డ్రైనేజ్ సిస్టమ్ బ్లాక్ అవుతుంది సో టోటల్ గా ఎయిట్ హండ్రెడ్ మిలియన్ టన్స్ ఫ్లవర్స్ వేస్ట్ అయిపోతున్నాయి సో దీని నుంచి వాల్యుయేషన్ చేయాలని చెప్పి ఒక ప్లాన్ చేసుకుని ఒక ప్లానింగ్ లో ముందుకు వెళ్తున్నాము యాక్చువల్లీ వెస్ట్ గోదావరి భీమవరం లో స్టార్ట్ చేశాం వెస్ట్ గోదావరి భీమవరం లో యాక్చువల్లీ ఒక ఫ్లవర్స్ వేస్టేజ్ అన్నది డైలీ ఒక ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ నుంచి సిక్స్ హండ్రెడ్ కేజెస్ హాఫ్ టన్ ఇక్కడ కంపోస్ట్ లోకి వెళ్ళిపోతున్నాయి అంటే యాడ్ మున్సిపల్ యాడ్ లోకి వెళ్ళిపోతున్నాయి సో నో యూస్ అనమాట సో దాని నుంచి మేము స్టార్ట్ చేసి ఎవ్రీ డే కలెక్ట్ చేసి రీసెంట్ గా స్టార్ట్ చేస్తే దాని నుంచి ఒక బంతి మేజర్ బంతి ఫ్లవర్ మ్యారీ గోల్డ్ ఫ్లవర్ బాగా ఎయిటీ పర్సెంట్ మ్యారీ గోల్డ్ ఫ్లవర్ డిగ్రేడ్ అయిపోతున్నాయి సో తర్వాత చామంతి తర్వాత గులాబీ దీని నుంచి పిగ్మెంట్ స్టార్ట్ చేస్తామండి కలర్స్ ఎక్స్ట్రా చేయడం ప్రయత్నిస్తున్నాము తర్వాత ఏమో ఇప్పుడు స్టార్ట్ చేసింది పౌడర్స్ మ్యారీ గోల్డ్ పౌడర్ ఈ మ్యారీ గోల్డ్ లో లూటిన్ అనేది చాలా హైయెస్ట్ ఈ క్యాన్సర్ మెడిసిన్ కి ఫార్మా ఇండస్ట్రీస్ కి వాడతారండి ఈ లూటిన్ హైయెస్ట్ ప్రాపర్టీ ఉంటుంది లూటిన్ సో ఈ లూటిన్ ని కలెక్ట్ చేసి ఆ దీన్ని యానిమల్స్ కూడా ప్లాన్ చేస్తున్నాం ఇప్పుడు యాక్చువల్లీ పశ్చిమ బెంగాల్ ఒక యూనివర్సిటీ ఈ లూటిన్ ని ఆ ఈ పౌల్ట్రీ ఫార్మ్ కూడా యూజ్ చేయటం మొదలు పెట్టింది సో వారు వాళ్ళందరూ సక్సెస్ అయ్యారు సో మేము కూడా ఈ ఫ్లవర్స్ కలెక్ట్ చేసి సన్ డ్రై లో ట్రై చేసి ఆ పౌడర్ చేసి ఫస్ట్ మా కాన్సెప్ట్ ఏంటంటే అగర్బత్తి ఇండస్ట్రీస్ కు మేజర్ గా ఇండియాలో హైయెస్ట్ యూసేజ్ అగర్బత్తి అండి ఈ అగర్బత్తి ఇండస్ట్రీస్ అందరూ ఏంటి కూడా ఈ బొగ్గు కోల్ పౌడర్ లేకపోతే కోకోనట్ షెల్ పౌడర్ బాగా వాడుతున్నారు దానివల్ల ఏంటంటే హ్యూమన్ కి హార్మ్ఫుల్ గా ఉంది 
సో మేము ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ చేస్తున్నాం ఏంటంటే ఈ రోజ్ పౌడరు మ్యారీ గోల్డ్ పౌడరు చామంతి సో డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్లేవర్ తర్వాత లీవ్స్ కూడా పౌడర్ స్టార్ట్ చేసాం ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ తర్వాత ఏంటి అంటే మేము మేము మా కంపెనీ సపోర్ట్ చేయవలసింది ఏంటంటే ఒక టౌన్ నుంచి పెర్ ఇయర్ దగ్గర త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ నుంచి ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ టన్స్ మేము ఒక వాల్యుయేషన్ చేయడానికి సిద్ధపడ్డాం త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ నుంచి ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ టన్స్ ఒక టౌన్ భీమవరం టౌన్ లో ఒక ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ టన్స్ ఫ్లవర్స్ అది వేస్ట్ గా పడి ఉంటుంది దాన్ని మేము వాల్యుయేషన్ చేయడానికి ప్రయత్నిస్తున్నాము స్టార్ట్ చేసాము అంటే ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ టౌన్ కూడా ఇట్లా వేసుకుంటే మిలియన్ మిలియన్ టన్స్ వాల్యుయేషన్ లేదు మన పూర్వీకులు అందరూ కూడా వాల్యుయేషన్ చేసే చాలా పొదుపుతా ఉండి యానిమల్స్ ఫీడ్ కానీ మన ఇంట్లో రైస్ వాటర్ కానీ అన్ని కూడా దాన్ని పర్మనెంటెడ్ చేసుకుని వాల్యుయేషన్ తో కూడా ఎటువంటి కమర్షియల్ ఫీడ్ వాడకుండా కూడా వాళ్ళు గెట్ మోర్ మనీ సో ఇప్పుడు మేమేంటి అంటే యాక్చువల్లీ ఈ మ్యారీ గోల్డ్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఫార్మర్స్ కానీ ఎవరైనా రైతులు ఈ ఫ్లవర్స్ పండించే వాళ్ళు కానీ వాళ్ళకి ఏమిటి అంటే చాలా వరకు కూడా మార్కెట్ ప్రైస్ లేక చాలా ఫ్లవర్స్ అన్ని కూడా వేస్ట్ అయిపోయి వాళ్ళు కూడా వేస్ట్ చేసేస్తారు సో అలాంటి వాళ్ళకి వాళ్ళ కాంపౌండ్ లో వాళ్ళ ఫార్మింగ్ లోనే వాళ్ళ ఫార్మింగ్ లో కూడా దాన్ని వాల్యుయేషన్ ఎలా చేసుకోవచ్చు అనేది మేము సపోర్ట్ చేయడానికి సిద్ధంగా ఉన్నాం యాక్చువల్లీ ఫార్మర్స్ ఎవరన్నా వైఎస్ఆర్ ఆర్టికల్స్ తరపున ఏమన్నా చేసినా సరే ఎందుకంటే వాళ్ళు డంపింగ్ లో పాడేస్తున్నారు చాలా మంది లాస్ అవుతున్నారు తర్వాత మార్కెట్కి వెళ్ళిన తర్వాత ఆ ఫ్లెక్చువేషన్స్ మార్కెట్ లో కూడా ఇప్పుడు మీకు చిన్న ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఏంటంటే ఖడీమ్ అనే విలేజ్ లో హోల్సేల్ మార్కెట్ లో డైలీ టూ టన్స్ ఎదురుగుండా ఉన్న రైట్ కెనాల్ లో దౌలేశ్వరం బ్యారేజ్ వచ్చి రైట్ కెనాల్ లో పోసేస్తారు అండి వాళ్ళు కంప్లీట్ గా పోసేస్తారు వాళ్ళు సో ఏంటంటే ఈ ఫ్లవర్స్ బేస్ చేసుకుని ఎవరు కూడా ఫార్మర్ పాడవకుండా చేయాలి తర్వాత నెక్స్ట్ సిఎస్ఆర్ వైఎస్ఆర్ హార్టికల్చర్ తో ఈ సిఎస్ఆర్ ఫండ్స్ తో చేయవలసింది ఏంటంటే సార్ యాక్చువల్లీ గ్లోబల్ వార్మింగ్ కన్నా గ్లోబల్ వార్మింగ్ కన్నా వెదర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఎక్కడ వెదర్ అక్కడే ప్రాబ్లం ఉంటుంది సార్ ఎక్కడ వెదర్ అక్కడే ప్రాబ్లం ఉంటుంది ఒక చిన్న చిన్న రాడార్స్ ఒక విలేజ్ లో రాడార్ చిన్న చిన్న సిఎస్ఆర్ ఫండ్స్ తో కనుక ఏర్పాటు చేయగలిగితే అక్కడ టెంపరేచర్ ఆటోమేషన్ ఒక ఫైవ్ జీ కానీ ఫోర్ జీ నెట్వర్క్ తో కానీ అక్కడ ఉన్న ఫార్మర్స్ కి ఫార్వర్డ్ చేయగలిగితే తప్పనిసరిగా వాళ్ళు హ్యూమిడిటీ పెరిగింది పలానా స్పీస్ ఒక పురుగు డెవలప్ అవుతుంది సో దీనికి ఫెస్ట్ ఎయిడ్ కొట్టాలి ఈ టైమ్ లో ఒకవేళ క్లౌడీగా ఉంది సో ఆ తోటకి మీరు నీరు పెట్టక్కర్లేదు సో కంప్లీట్ పిక్చర్ వెదర్ పిక్చర్ కానీ చిన్న చిన్న రాడర్స్ పెట్టి మన ఐడియా బైట్స్ వాళ్ళు వాళ్ళ సెన్సార్స్ అన్ని కూడా తయారు చేస్తున్నారు ఏదైనా రాడార్ ఒక చిన్న రాడార్ వాళ్ళకి ఒక సిఎస్ఆర్ ఫండ్స్ నుంచో యూనివర్సిటీ నుంచో ఒక గ్రామానికి రాడార్ అలర్ట్ చేసి అది ఆటోమేషన్ గా మెసేజ్ పంపించి ఏర్పాటు చేయగలిగితే వాళ్ళు వాళ్ళు చాలా ప్రొడక్షన్ తీయగలరు ఈ ఫెస్ట్ ఎయిడ్స్ యూజింగ్ తగ్గిపోతుంది ఎందుకంటే ఈ ప్రతి ఫార్మర్ కి ఫెస్ట్ ఎయిడ్ యూజింగ్ అన్నది సైకలాజికల్ గా ఒక వన్ కేజీ అప్లై చేయమంటే టూ కేజీ అప్లై చేస్తాడు వై బికాస్ అది వెంటనే ఇమీడియట్ గా కిల్ అయిపోవాలని చెప్పి చాలా సైకలాజికల్ గా ఒక ఆదుర్దత ఉంటారు సో ఇట్లా కాకుండా మనం మెయిన్ ఏంటంటే ఈ ఫార్మింగ్ అంతా కూడా డిపెండ్స్ అప్ ద సాయిల్ అండ్ టెంపరేచర్ బేస్ మీద ఉంటుందండి మన ఏరియా కూడా హ్యూమిడిటీ పెరుగుతుంది ఆ ఈ సి సి పక్కన ఉండాలి ప్రాబ్లమాటిక్ గా ఉంటుంది సో హార్టికల్చర్ యూనివర్సిటీ తరఫు నుంచి ఒక రాడార్ ఒక రాడార్ ఏర్పాటు చేయగలిగితే ఫండ్స్ ద్వారా ఐటీసీ కానీ వేరే కానీ ఏర్పాటు చేయగలిగితే మేము చేయగలం మా చిన్న కంపెనీతో మేమైతే ఈ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఫార్మర్స్ కి ఎట్టి పరిస్థితుల్లోనే కూడా వాళ్ళు వేస్ట్ అవ్వకుండా వాళ్లే వాల్యుయేషన్ చేసుకోగలి వాల్యుయేషన్ ఎలా చేసుకోవాలో కూడా మేము సపోర్ట్ చేయగలము హలో సపోర్ట్ చేయగలము సో అండ్ ఆల్సో ఏంటి అంటే కంపోస్ట్ అన్నది యాక్చువల్లీ మనకి పెద్ద ప్రాబ్లమాటిక్ ఏంటి అంటే ఒక సీడ్స్ ప్రాబ్లం ఒకటి ఉందండి తర్వాత నెక్స్ట్ ప్రాబ్లం ఏంటి అంటే ఆ ఫార్మర్స్ కి దాని నుంచే కంపోస్ట్ ని విపరీతంగా ఫైర్ చేసేస్తున్నారు అంతా అంటీ చేస్తున్నారు అదొకటి ప్రాబ్లం ఇంకొకటి కార్బన్ మోనాక్సైడ్ విపరీతంగా అది ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ ఎఫెక్ట్ పడిపోతుంది సో అట్లా కాకుండా దాన్ని వాల్యుయేషన్ ఎలా చేసుకోవాలి కూడా మేము సపోర్ట్ చేయగలం కంపెనీ నుంచి సో ఇంక ఇంకా ఏంటి అంటే సార్ వైఎస్ఆర్ ఆర్టికల్స్ యూనివర్సిటీ లో ఒక సజెషన్ ఏంటంటే మా లాంటి ఎంటర్ప్రెన్యూర్ కి ఆర్ ఫార్మర్స్ కి ఏంటి అంటే ఒక మీ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ బ్లాక్ లో ఏదైనా ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫీస్ అంటే చాలా డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్ ఉన్నాయి చాలా ఏరియా ఉంది మీరు టూ ఫిఫ్టీ ఏకర్స్ ఐ థింక్ ఎంతో టూ ఫిఫ్టీ ఏకర్స్ చాలా డిఫరెంట్ ఏరియాలో ఉంది అంటే ఒక ఫార్మర్ వచ్చి ఒక ఎంటర్ప్రెన్యూర్ వచ్చి
మనకి ఫ్లవర్స్ లో వాల్యూ ఎడిషన్ చేయటం ఈ పౌడర్స్ తయారు చేయటం తర్వాత ఈ పౌడర్స్ మనకి అగరబత్తి వీటికి చేయటం లూటిన్ ఇవన్నీ కూడా నిజంగా వేస్ట్ ఫ్లవర్స్ మీరు అన్నట్టుగానే ఈ చాలా బాగా చేస్తున్నారు మీరు కూడా థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ ఎవర్ సపోర్టింగ్ యూ వాంట్ సపోర్ట్ ట్రైనింగ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ అట్ ద ఫార్మర్స్ వాల్యూ ఫ్లవర్స్ లో వాల్యూ ఎడిషన్ చేస్తా ఉంటున్నారు థ్యాంక్ యూ మీ సజెషన్స్ అన్ని కూడా మేము మైండ్ లో పెట్టుకుని డెఫినెట్ గా రియాక్ట్ అవుతాము యూనివర్సిటీ సైడ్ నుంచి థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇన్వైట్ శ్రీ చందన్ గారు డిప్యూటీ డైరెక్టర్ కాన్ఫెడరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియన్ ఇండస్ట్రీ సార్ వెల్కమ్ వెల్కమ్ టు హార్టికల్చర్ యూనివర్సిటీ చందన్ గారు హలో చందన్ గారు సో సార్ ఎనీబడి ఫ్రమ్ అదర్ కంపెనీస్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ ఫర్మ్స్ యువాన్ టు టాక్ హలో ఎనీ ఎనీబడి ఫ్రమ్ అదర్ కంపెనీస్ if uh, nobody is there just uh, i invite our university officers uh, dean of pg studies dr suri kumar garu hello madam yes sir uh, good morning one minute i'll join i just uh, okay. I, i i'll continue you can just uh, ask somebody because i, I need to once go up uh, director of extension dr karun sri madam is there uh, dean of student affairs dr salome sunita madam sir before leaving okay sir i just want to add a word yeah. yes okay. good morning sir. yes good morning sir uh, good morning everybody so we today we had a very nice uh, interaction with uh, all the uh, uh, private sector companies who have uh, given their ideas for this um, csr uh, funding and role for our infrastructure development as rightly said sir uh one of the companies was saying that it would have been named in other way like it would have been like uh, a development for industry through university yes sir what you rightly said was maybe as you said as a researcher we were straight but uh, the main intention was only uh the our main uh, this thing was uh the role of, the role for the uh, private sector like what we wanted was industry academia partnership or uh, see we universities we know that universities serve the industry in two ways we have the necessary workforce and innovative ideas for startup so with this as you said for the win win relationship we need a corporate uh, we need a relationship in many uh, in many sectors like uh, with the present this thing this interface is very important as you rightly pointed out uh, we can have this uh, collaboration we wanted here because we know that in our degree uh, for uh, in horticulture especially like for our bsc horticulture we have a uh, even the student ready program which says the rural entrepreneur awareness development yojana here we were asking always i mean we seek your uh, uh, role here for offering the internship as already said to the st- uh, students you were mentioning about the farmers yes farmers trainings uh, we are very we thankful for the this thing we also collaborate in this with the research but even for the education uh, we we seek the vocational training internship and also uh, the 
infrastructure you were adding for the infrastructure yes infrastructure for development of occasional skills we want set a, your um, uh, we would like to collaborate with you here for the frequent trainings for the students uh, for this uh, establishment of occasional trainings as somebody was saying um, yes they need to come out with the vocational training and here we really want uh, um, your yes, uh, this thing for the training to the students in the vocational what is required in the field like you have the uh, you have all your products in this uh, so we request you for this uh, internship being uh, internship collaboration uh, even in the part of our UG program, uh, in the student ready, we have a one course, like we have this entrepreneurship awareness development program. We have a course also there, uh, a vocational training uh, course being offered there. We would like um, uh, the industry, related industry, um, to please uh, offer our uh, students the vocational training in, this, in that part, sir. And um, yes, uh, the other point where uh, we wanted was uh, in the same thing, sir. Thank you. And for the technology, you were mentioning about the sanitary, uh, this thing. We also uh, would like to have that uh, also collaboration for our uh, colleges, for our co colleges and universities for the hard, hard material recycling. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, madam. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Next, I invite uh, our director of extension, uh, uh, Dr. Karna Sri Garu. Madam, you are there. Uh, proceed, proceed. Uh, am I audible, sir? Audible, audible. Uh, really, I congratulate uh, Dr. Dhananjay Garu, uh, Director of Industries and International Programs, uh, for this. Uh, uh, the long-standing uh, uh, requirement of our university to have a uh, platform to discuss about the win-win uh, situation between the public-private partnership uh, for the welfare of the uh, farmers as well as the other stakeholders of Dr. Vyasar Horticulture University. Uh, really, uh, I am very happy that uh, the participation and the inputs given by the uh, other uh, Corporate sector uh, people, Subhare Digaru, Nasim Ali Garu, and uh, uh, Kata Srinivas Digaru, we met uh, many times uh, earlier uh, before the uh, MOU also. And ITC, <laughs> as such, we are uh, closely associated uh, in all our webinars and uh, the virtual programs for uh, service delivery to the farmers also. Uh, really, because uh, as uh, uh, during your presentation, Dhananjay Garu, you have given an uh, elaborative list of uh, convergence, uh, scope for convergence through CSR funds. We know that uh, we have the uh, extension uh, service delivery system through all our uh, 43 institutions under Dr. Vyasar Horticulture University. That is uh, the 20 research stations across all the 26 uh, various uh, districts of Andhra Pradesh. And also the colleges, the Horticulture Polytechnics and the Krishi Vikyan Kendra. We know that about 136 uh, Villages have been adopted under our uh, flagship program, Dr. SRHU Vice Chancellor to Village Program, we can say. On uh, every 2nd October, uh, we are just uh, um, uh, every year we are adopting the new villages and also continuing the activities in the old villages also. So, till now, we have 136 villages adopted by all our research stations, KVKs, and the colleges. So, we have a platform. Uh, the RBKs are the real uh, supporting contact platform at the village level to disseminate our technologies and uh, the know-how and the do-how also in various horticultural crops and the allied sector. So here the requirement for strengthening the infrastructure facilities required for the uh, technology delivery to the farmers, especially at the research station level, maybe the KVK level or the that uh, maybe colleges level or at the villages level also. We need some support uh, through these CSR fronts uh, for uh, the strengthening the infrastructure facilities, especially when we see the uh, the uh, dissemination of skill component. Whenever we see the skills required for the better management practices of various crops, we can say maybe the fertigation technology or maybe the now the 
latest pest and disease management, the integrated approaches in various crops. For that, we can uh, um, take the assistance of some of the corporate sectors who have spelt out uh, during their presentation also. Apart from that, we, uh, in the same, I, as I said, the 136 villages adopted by all the, uh, the our institutions, we can have some livelihood support activities uh, because uh, the in uh, village level, we we know the problems and we know the priorities of the village, and especially the women, the rural, rural youth, the school dropouts especially. So they can be tapped and uh, their uh, skills can be improved and uh, some entrepreneurship development programs can be taken up uh, uh, if uh, permitted uh, by some of the our uh, CSR friends, uh, the uh, partner. So the other thing is, uh, we know the uh, when uh, Nasim Ali sir was telling about the industry and the mechanization in various operations, we know the investment for uh, adoption of various new and improved machinery is a question mark at the village level. So we can have uh, we can establish some kind of custom hair centers in these villages uh, with the latest equipment or the machinery which uh, the farmers can use. Uh, and they can maintain their own custom hair center if we provided uh, as a uh, single time grant for uh, taking some of the uh, the farm level machinery the improved machinery required for that village especially uh, for horticulture crops maybe the sprayers or maybe the um, the harvesters whatever the improved uh, machinery we call it as uh, we can uh, have such kind of uh, tie up and also other uh, thing uh, the the student related the research work so development of uh, the student related farm development activities at the uh, campus maybe main campus also or maybe at the institution level also we can take uh, the development of uh, the working models and uh, as such we know that we have uh, recently we have initiated one uh, uh, the ict based uh, prayer the um, mechanized uh, device uh, by our engineers at uh, CEPC. So we can, we may have tapped some of the funds uh, to, it is a prototype and we can uh, try on uh, yeah, with uh, some more uh, latest equipment and we also can uh, involve in that uh, by involving uh, like uh, the idea bites, uh, what they were telling. Am I audible, sir? Audible, audible. Continue. Yeah. So uh, like that, we can take the help. And the other thing is nowadays, the development of different apps for different crops. Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, madam. Lost connectivity and I am back now. So the uh, development of ICT-based uh, mobile applications for various horticulture crops is the need of the hour. We know that... Uh, the farmers, it is in a local language, and then the, the and that should be um, uh, the two-way communication with the proper feedback mechanism from the farmer and the then and there uh, the solutions and the the field uh, problems can be taken to the scientists and immediately the solutions can be given to the farmers. That kind of uh, development of apps in all the horticulture crops uh, with which uh, our all the research stations are working. This is another area we can look into it uh, through this uh, convergence mode. These are some of the priorities as the director of extension, especially to strengthen the service delivery mechanism to the farmers from all our 43 institutions under Dr. Vyasar Horticulture University. With this, uh, we can further discuss and uh, tap uh, some of the um, yeah, input agencies like uh, uh, some of the training programs, like uh, you are telling about uh, funding a few training programs uh, um, through Dr. Vyasar Horticulture University. The training and capacity building always uh, is essential to update uh, the knowledge of the farmers as well as the stakeholders. So uh, with this, we can uh, say, uh, we can uh, rightly uh, involve the corporate sector for uh, providing the training programs at the RBK level. We can strengthen the staff of RBK as well as the farmers also. And in each RBK level, we have the um, ICT tools and the devices. Uh, they are well placed. And at university level, we have a farmers virtual farmers training center. So we can collaborate and converge uh, so that we can provide the training programs.
training programs for the farmers uh, from Dr. Vyasar Horticulture University. This is uh, from my side as Director of Extension. Thank you for giving this opportunity. Thank you. Uh, thank you, madam. Uh, thank you very much. You have uh, covered many areas, the priority areas of Dr. Vyasar Horticulture University uh, under uh, Extension wing. Uh, definitely. Uh, thank you very much. Next, I uh, invite uh, Dean of Student Affairs, Dr. Salome Sunita. Yes, sir. So, good afternoon to all the dignitaries uh, gracing the virtual mode, uh, meeting. And congratulations to Dr. K. Dhanunjay Rao, sir, uh, for taking up uh, such a good initiative uh, in establishing a common platform and exchange of uh, ideas, thoughts, and service uh, among the public private sectors. So, uh, joining with uh, all the initial inputs from our university, we would like to present before you that uh, we worked a lot uh, before coming to you. Uh, so the areas where uh, the service needs to be uh, exchanged or done were already presented. And uh, now uh, we would like to establish uh, an interface between uh, the uh, industries with the university. So with regard to education, uh, using the uh, contributions from the students and every contribution that is coming from the university is very, very much valid. And regarding students, we have a rural horticultural work experience program and uh, we have national service team and uh, the students experiential learning programs and the training programs where the students will be actively involved and benefited with what all your uh, contributions. And uh, regarding the uh, extension, we have vice chancellor to village program. And uh, in research also, we have uh, so many platforms where the research and development activities could be carried out. So what all your contributions to the university will be utilized in a very useful and efficient manner for the progress of the society, the farmers, uh, or any of the, uh, pub, uh, the society. So in this regard, I request the industries to come forward and uh, give your uh, positive, and uh, we are very happy for your positive inputs and uh, your thoughts and your uh, impression about Dr. Vyasar Horticultural University. We look forward for the same, uh, uh, for the same support and uh, in the upcoming days with more and more uh, uh, from your contributions, we look forward to work together. Thank you so much. This is Thank you, madam. Dr. Salomi Sunita, Dean of Student Affairs, Dr. Vyasar Hartikal. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, giving clear picture and uh, Appreciation. And uh, next, I invite a controller of exams, Dr. Vangar Samuru. Director of Research, Dr. Naram Nadikar may be busy with that. And any other uh, university officers, uh, journal heads? Sir, uh, Dr. B. Srinivasal Garu, sir. <coughs> Good afternoon to all. First of all, it is an excellent program. Uh, artfully, I congratulate uh, our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. T. Janikram Garu, for his overall guidance of this program, and Dr. Dhananjaya, Director, Industrial and Interstitial Program, for uh, planning and organizing this marathon program. Really, I Thank artfully you. congratulate you. And then, coming to the points, after hearing the uh, talks by the industries as well as our university officers, I think now it is very clear that you now we have to plan for the, which are the companies supporting for the infrastructure development, which are the companies supporting for the regular activities as proposed by our officers. It may be a training programs or whatever they may be. So first we have to identify these two groups. After identification, now we have to get the 
proposals from the all the institutes what are the infrastructure facilities they will propose under csr funds what are the activities they will take up from the uh, recurring activities from the csr funds for example at ambaje beta we may plan for the hybridization technique in coconut or predators or parasites multiplication by human empowerment program we may so our five specially for the bio agents multiplication especially in uh, predators and parasites only women are involved so such programs can also be planned and our university successful program triflower technology or our kvks uh, all extension successful programs that may be extended to various institutes under dr y s r university through the csr funds so for for extension of that uh, programs we may propose from all the institutes various infrastructure facilities for example triflower technology a successful program at tirupati but we don't have any infrastructure facility at uh, tirupati for the training center so if any company comes forward with the csr funds they can build up a training institute at tirupati similarly in a similar way also whatever the technologies successfully <coughs> success very successful for the infrastructure development uh, we can propose it from the institutes and similarly all the various activities so i am really very happy that uh, the industrial group are uh, very uh, they are really excellently they have come forward it is a really a, a, a bridge today is you can say it is a bridge to progress under this uh, condition these two ways we can plan after getting the proposals to university the director industrial program knows that which company can support with the infrastructure which company can support the recurring contingencies we can divide and submit the proposal to the particular uh, firms so that uh, we can execute the programs well uh, thank you and once again uh, congratulations and thank you for giving this opportunity. thank you thank you sir thank you for recurring and non recurring items uh, that uh, training programs and the infrastructure facilities definitely uh, we will in, uh, sit and uh, plan uh, and take your uh, suggestions also while planning uh, thank you sir thank you very much next donal uh, uh, heads associate deans on the heads of research stations kvk anybody is there want to inter interact scientists teachers good afternoon uh, to all the university officers and uh, journal heads and registration heads myself dr b gondarallu principal scientist krishi vigyan kendra periyavaram venkatagiri tirupati district so it's a wonderful program uh, today we had uh, the industrialists uh, along with the uh, university officers and all the staff of uh, dr ysr hu uh, regarding uh, vocational skill development training programs and uh, upliftment of the women uh, farmers and entrepreneurs uh, it's a, a good uh, program for uh, making uh, women uh, as uh, entrepreneurs uh, by the kvks uh, not only by the kvks even uh, from uh, uh research stations uh, and also from colleges also so uh, under uh, ppa a mode or uh, ppp mode uh, uh, this uh, corporate uh, sector uh, social responsibility uh, nowadays it is uh, one of the component of the corporates so with this uh, association we can make uh, uh, good things uh, for the a rural youth also rural youth and um, uh, farm uh, practicing farmers also so our uh, sir uh, told b srinivasul sir uh, it should be divided and uh, uh, the work to be taken up by the kvks uh, can be given a moral uh, i mean support by the university officers so that definitely we will make uh, even uh, local uh, corporates are also there uh, in the kvk commandable areas some trusts are there even ngos can also be uh, included in this program uh, i wish all the best for the uh, 
director uh, industrialist um, uh, a good program uh, conducted by the university today thank you one and all thank thank you govind rajal garu thank you very much for your suggestions next good afternoon good afternoon to everyone uh, yes ma'am madam continue thank you very much uh, uh, for arranging this program uh, honorable inspector and also dr dhanendra garu uh, director of industrial and international programs uh, as i was working in uh, teaching wing uh, here i want to uh, tell two things uh, one is uh, in bsc honors horticulture program uh, final year students they are undergoing uh, a experiential learning program and so far in our university the students are taking up that program only on skill mode on small scale so if sufficient funds uh, can be tapped from through this csr funds uh, we can uh, shift to this uh, on commercial scale and most of the students they will get better training and also their capacity building can be improved and the students will get more confidence to complete their program uh, ug program and they go out and better job provider Uh, and that is one aspect and most of the students they are having a uh, better novel ideas they are getting but uh, we are not able to tap those ideas and bring into into real uh, real estate that is because of this uh, lack of maybe lack of funds uh, that is the set of hearty business incubation centers is also very much required and so that uh, the students can develop uh, different kinds of apps or uh, different kinds of this using this artificial intelligence and also this uh, uh, for uh, women empowerment also they can develop uh, some of this uh, implements or this machinery everything if sufficient funds are provided to the students so i think it, will, it is a very good program and i think uh, we will move forward and we will achieve success in this aspect also thank you thank you for giving me this opportunity uh, thank you madam uh, thank you very much anybody from the audience hello principals of polytechnic colleges race stations heads good afternoon to everyone uh, i congratulate uh, really i congratulate uh, for having this program today under the able guidance of dr uh, uh, janakaram sir and vice chancellor sir and uh, i totally endorse uh, the suggestions made by dr v srinivasan sir our general head uh, we have to sort out these uh, uh, activities uh, under training under uh, demonstrations particularly i am working at uh, articulate research station cover we are uh, working mainly on banana and other uh, cucumber crops particularly uh we are uh, uh, this uh, quality planting material is one of the main component uh, to uh, for enhance the production and productivity of uh, any crop so we are uh, producing uh, uh, mass multiplication of uh, tissue culture uh, banana plants and uh, definitely our uh, state uh, productive productive device is also uh, stands first in a, in our country and there is a lot of uh, scope for uh, area expansion and also uh, export uh, recently for the last couple of years uh, this banana crop is being exported uh, particularly from royal sima zone so there is a need to uh, increase the product production of quality planting material in that uh, aspect uh, if any uh, company or corporate company uh, assists in uh, developing the infrastructure for uh, this uh, tissue culture production poly houses for like that uh, that is one facility then uh, this training also because a lot of technologies have been developed but uh, still the technologies have not being adopted by the farmers because uh, for for that purpose we have to inculcate the uh, technologies uh, for that also we have to demonstrate that these technologies in the farmers field for that also if uh, they come forward to provide some funds for uh, demonstration of the production technologies in the farmer field that is also one of the important uh, uh, activity then uh, this uh, infrastructure development for the uh, for importing training uh, that is uh, uh, training uh, information center 
and then uh, technology demonstration purpose and also uh, this uh, uh, training uh, information center and training hall then uh, hostel facilities for the uh, farmers uh, to conduct on campus uh, training program all these uh, uh, facilities to be uh, developed uh, this is one of the uh, important component and uh, uh, nowadays uh, this uh, water is also precious uh, uh, input uh, very uh, important input uh, any sensor based drip irrigation systems uh, uh, in the uh, resistations or in KVKs also helpful for the uh, saving of water as, as well as uh, this uh, on cost of fertilizer also we can uh, uh, very much reduce and thereby we can enhance the uh, production and productivity level also. So these are the, some of the views of uh, mine. Uh, so these also may be considered uh, while uh, proposing these uh, activities. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ramanandangaru. Thank you very much. And uh, covered uh, many things in uh, banana. Uh, sir, uh, uh, Chandan sir is there on, online? Deputy Director, uh, Confederation of Indian Industry. Sir is there? Uh, anybody from the audience? Yeah, good afternoon, sir. This is Dr. Nagaraj from. Uh, Citrus resuscitation, Tirupati, sir. Yes, yes, Nagaraj, proceed. Yeah. Sir, uh, this is wonderful program, sir. I said, by, uh, already said uh, all the dignitaries. And uh, I understood that uh, this public funds, uh, CSR is a public funded, uh, this one. From the public funds, uh, maximum we are utilizing for the public uh, oriented uh, programs only. And uh, uh, after going through the so many uh, activities uh, by the government, they are allotting the funds to the public related activities actually. And uh, we can tap uh, the funds accordingly uh, for conservation purpose. That means uh, for us, uh, we can uh, conserve flora, fauna and uh, some other forest species also here. And uh, some of the other rural development programs for women also accordingly. That, that means uh, from our university, what we can do Accordingly, we can provide the prepare the projects, active projects uh, for the uh, disabled uh, persons also, persons who are with uh, disabilities, and uh, we have to give. We can give skill oriented programs for those persons at the at, at university level. This one kind of uh, uh, good program, uh, what uh, I feel, and uh, uh, one more activity here to for promoting education also uh, under this uh, project. Uh, uh, for employment, so many vocational skills, skill capacities also there among children, uh, for our students also. For them also, now, uh, in my opinion, what we need is, what the industry need is there, what industry people are looking for, that uh, training programs has to be given to the students first, whatever the industry is needed now. And uh, uh, our students are lagging behind uh, uh, with the artificial intelligence like the new technologies that that uh, activities also we have to give the training uh, to the this one and uh, based on that only uh, our students can be uh, uh, fit, uh, they, they, they will be fitted in so many uh, companies also that is uh, for internships also uh, after going through the these programs only they can be fitted in the industries this is my opinion on this uh, this program, sir. You can uh, uh, think in this manner and uh, uh, in further course of in due, further duration. And uh, I thank uh, Dr. B. Srinivasan, sir, rightly said, here the personal skill development program at uh, Citrus Association in Tirupati, adequate uh, building and it is not there, but we can uh, take this opportunity uh, for to build a separate uh, uh, infrastructure uh, development, sir, here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nairaj Garu. Thank you very much for your suggestions and appreciation. Anybody, sir? Anybody from audience? If nobody is there, uh, any response uh, from the corporate uh, people on uh, 
suggestions and remarks of our university officer, sir. Anybody is there, sir? If nobody is there, uh, I invite our director of uh, extension, Dr. Karnasri, madam, say, uh, to say a formal vote of thanks. Madam. Hello? Karnasri, madam, you are on the online? Madam is not there. Can I invite our uh, Dean of Student Affairs, Dr. Salami Sunita, Madam? Hello? Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Sri uh, Jeevi uh, Subaridigaru, Vice President, Formandal uh, International Limited, Vijayawada. Um, R.D. Varprasad Garu, Chief Manager, Union Bank CSR Funds. Nitin Gaikwad, ITC Limited, Guntur. Nasim Ali Garu, Farmer CEO, Oil Palm Plantations. And uh, Sri Srinivasari Digaru Kata, Idea Bytes, Software India Limited, Rajgaru, Lotus Values, West Godavari District, and uh, uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor uh, for giving this uh, permission uh, for conducting uh, this webinar for the interaction meeting with the uh, uh, industry. Uh, uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, uh, all the uh, participants our university officers, uh, director of extension, dean of student affairs, and uh, all uh, dean, uh, dean of PG studies, all uh, journal heads, all uh, heads of race stations, KVKs, and uh, principals of polytechnic colleges. Uh, thank you for your uh, participation and giving suggestions and improvement uh, and uh, how to linkage, link uh, with uh, industry with the Horticulture University. And uh, thank you everyone for participating in this uh, webinar. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Now it is closed. Thank you very much, sir, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, madam.